Well, in case you haven't heard, the Bronx Night Market is the largest food market in the Bronx and Westchester County, attracting more than 10,000 people each month. Our reporter, Darissa White, brings us the story. This is the fourth edition of the Bronx Night Market. Now we're going to see how things progressed from the summer into the fall. Two's company, three's a crowd, and four's a party. Bronx Night Market held its fourth edition in September, continuing to solidify the food festival's popularity in our favorite borough. Lucky number four seemed to be the theme as the market introduced four new vendors to the lineup. Amanda Celestino spoke with us about the fall market and what to expect. I feel great. I feel like this is this is another good one. The weather is beautiful. There's a lot of like autumn spirit in the air, and Fordham's back in session, which is great. So we have some new blood here, but it's it's been it's one of my favorite. I say it every time, but it's like my favorite time. It's like my new favorite market. I thought I, thought I loved August, but now I love September. We spoke to a new vendor who's serving up some gelato with a side of stress relief. We also offer an optional CBD cannabis oil on our on our gelato. It's the cannabis oils from the, the hemp plants, but it's not the psychotropic. THC is the psychotropic. The CBD is the relax. So it's supposed to help with inflammation and help with some anxiety. So we offer it as an optional topping in our gelato. And for the people wondering what the difference is between gelato and ice cream, well... Gelato has a lot less fat because it's mostly milk whereas ice cream is mostly cream. and also has a lot less air, which is why it feels so much like denser and smoother and creamier. So the flavors really burst in your mouth. They're not, they're, they're very, very extreme. Or how about this vendor whose ceviche is sure to leave you speechless? A Peruvian raw fish cooked with the lime juice, marinate with the Peruvian hot pepper. For Peruvians, the ceviche gotta be spicy. Contestants described the assortment of flavors and textures from Caspanish, Uncle T Spices, Latzalacas, Gibarito, Pork Q, and Empayea. What are you what are you tasting when you taste this? Um it tastes like um like ginger. This is definitely Caribbean. It's definitely cinnamon in it. It's really good, it's like tangy in a way. Peppers, I think. It tastes like chicken. Alright, so get everybody give them a round of applause. This year's final Bronx Night Market is October 27th, and we'll be sure to go out on a high note. Reporting for BronxNet, Darissa White. <laughs> Here now to tell us more, we welcome now from the Bronx Night Market, we've got Marco Shalma and Am Amanda Celestino, organizers of the Bronx Night Market, and we welcome you to the show. Thank you, glad to be here. Great work. Thank, Thank you. you. A lot of work. It's coming down to the end. Yeah. How do you feel? I'm glad you say that because a lot of people don't understand the amount of work that takes in, during the month leading to that event. You know, a lot of people ask us to do like a weekly event or bi-weekly, and every time they say it, Amanda, like, uh -uh. <laughs> she's like, "No, <laughs> uh -uh. it no. takes a lot of work, a lot of organization. You know, just dealing with like vendors and publicity and 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 social media and all that. But it all ends up in like one beautiful event. Mm -hmm. And the next one, October 27, that's going to be like our grand finale, like season finale for, for 2018, and we couldn't be more excited. What can we expect, Amanda? Well, we have about 10 new vendors coming, so that's an exciting addition to the lineup. And it's some different food. I don't want to give too much away, but okay. we have some more international eats, which is exciting. Um, we have some autumnal surprises and, and sweet treats that mm -hmm. are you know inspired by the season. And um, it's just going to be, a, it's also longer. It's mm -hmm. 4 to 10, so it's about an hour longer. So right. we have more music, yeah. more and, programming. And we talk about, you know, between the Bronx and Westchester County, this is the largest. And uh, how do you feel about that in terms of the public participation, the vendors that you have? Uh, because I know it takes a lot to get these vendors out here. And to have yeah. the amount of vendors you have, to have the kind of crowds you have, it's got to be a good feeling. Yeah, man. I mean, 
I would like, I, I would even add that it's like larger in upper Manhattan, you know, uptown. You know, there, mm -hmm. I don't think there's ever been like a, such a successful event uh, from uptown Manhattan all the way to Westchester County. You know, uh, the first one that we did, we got over 10,000 people and it just keeps growing and growing. And the vibe is unique. You know, what really makes this special is the fact that we're in the Bronx. You know, like people come over there and they feel like they, it's like a family. It's not, a bu you know, it's not a bunch of vendors, you know, selling their stuff, you know, independently. It's, it's literally you come in and you feel like you come into like a group, like a community. And that's really what makes this so unique. And, you know, if you follow the social media, like at thebronxnightmarket.com or at the Bronx Night Market, you will see the engagement on, you know, week, uh, like four weeks before, three weeks before. It, it's, it's insane. People really love what we did and they support it, which makes it so successful. Also, even, even the vendors are very friendly with each other behind the scenes, which is, is nice to see. You know, they're selling next to each other, but I get requests all the time, like, can you put me next to them again? I love mm -hmm. being next to them. They're my homies. Yeah. So it's fun that they all enjoy each other, too. And I think that also adds to the good vibes that yeah. everyone who comes is just, like, excited and having a good time. And it's great for, I, I mean, it's got to be great. For, it, I know it's great for the community because yeah. you have all these great vendors. You have all these different food types. And, and it's basically community, right? And this mm -hmm. community yeah. coming together having a great time and, you know, doing this multiple times, as you said, from June all the way through October. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a standout, any uh, any one particular time that stood out between June and October for you guys? For me, it was the last one, September, because that's actually was the first time where it was more of a night market, you know, because we start usually at like 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. and during the summer month, you know, we end up at 9, which is just starting to get dark. But right. this one in September, when it got dark around like 5.45, it just felt like, Right. It just felt like this is the vibe. This is the energy. And, you know, and, and Amanda does a, good, a great job of, like, getting, making sure that we have uh, about 80% of our vendors local from the Bronx, you know, people that are what we call food entrepreneurs, you know, food mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, that they can get the chance to shine and expose themselves to a large community. Plus, we'll bring 20% 20, 20 of, like, New York favorites, you know, mm -hmm. like, like uh, greater New York favorites. Uh, and it's a great mix. And the musicians are all Bronx-based, up-and-comers. So the vibe... It's just, you know, it's, wow. really, it's really the Bronx. Mm -hmm. It's really the Bronx. Yeah. So we have one more day, and the finale is Thursday. No. I mean, I'm sorry, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. 10 27, October 27, at Fordham Plaza. Uh, that will be the season finale, and we'll announce a few things for, you know, the future. You know, some other things that we've been working on, uh, including like next year's series. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny because as soon as like, as soon as one event finishes, like a month work finishes, the next day we start yeah, working on the next, on the next <laughs> one, you know. But we're excited. It's been, a, it's been a great journey so far. I look forward to for that. What's the best part for you putting it all together? I think when I walk through after all the vendors have set up and people start coming in, that's, that's my favorite moment. Like when people start coming in mm -hmm. at like 4.30, 5 o'clock, and yeah. it's full and the vendors are cooking and I see the layout and I, see, and I hear the music in the background. For me, that's the most fulfilling part. Is when oh, is it, it starts. Is, and, and as putting this on, there's a lot of nervousness, obviously, not, trying to put it on. Is it? Not anymore. I think before the first one. I still have that. I don't, I don't have that. No? Um, I was nervous leading up to the first one, but after the first one went off, I was like, all right, we got this now. Mm -hmm. So now, to me, it's like yeah. a formula, and um, I feel really comfortable. He, he's nervous enough for both of us. Well, <laughs> I'm, a cool, I'm a cool cucumber yeah. all the time. I'm always like, it's okay. Okay, it's going to be, gonna be, gonna be great. good. It's all okay, going to be great. I don't know if it's that, <laughs> but... <laughs> Before every event, I, I keep I call a man and say like, "Are you sure people are gonna show up? Because mm -hmm. I'm always sure like nobody's gonna show up. It's just gonna be her and I, and then <laughs> and the vendors, and, and then it they're just gonna be gets looking better at us. and better. You know, so uh, for for me, it's always like you know because we do I deal more more with the marketing stuff, so it's me mm -hmm. nervous. Like I make sure that I do my job right. So right. yeah, and I'm more of a it is what it is. Yeah. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Yeah. Well, that's a powerful conversation. <laughs> it's done very well. It's yeah. got. It's gotten you this far, yep. yeah. and we want to encourage people, make sure that you come out and check out the Bronx Night Market. The grand finale is coming, and yes, it's going to be a little autonomous, and yes, you'll have some fun, mm -hmm. some food, food, and get some music, and all of that. So come on out. Tell people where to come if they don't know where to come before we sure. leave. So it's Fordham Plaza, 4210. Uh, 1027, and don't be afraid if it's a little chilly, just bring a light jacket. It's going to be great. Don't be just scared. Come don't hungry. Don't be scared. <laughs> There's plenty of food, plenty of warm energy. You don't have to worry about the cold. We have hot drinks. We have sweet desserts. We have good food. Yep. So just bring a jacket. And, and it's going to be packed, so it's going to be nice and warm. Yeah, you know, and people heats. are always That's dancing, right. and you heat up real quick. So. That's right. That's so what we good. do here in our borough. We yeah. do it up. All right, well, make sure you call it out. 
check it out. And uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks thank for having you. us. Congratulations. Thank you. Great work. All righty, listen, take a quick break. We've got more open coming up. We'll be right back right after this.